what time it is. FortuneBuilders.tv and you guessed it, a new episode. And I've got a good one. We're going to cover the five vital steps to launching any marketing campaign. And it's, a, it's an outline and a structure for how we have created systems around the marketing campaigns that we teach and that we implement in our CT Homes office. So let's just get right to it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so first and foremost, we're talking, reminding you, we're talking about the five vital steps to launching a mar any marketing campaign. Number one is market research, okay? Uh, absolutely need to research your market, and I'll give you a quick example after I go through all the steps. So number one is market research. Number two is we have to test and measure. What's number two? Test and measure, okay? Number three is we have to create a system, okay? Absolutely create a system. Uh, number four is we have to outsource. Numero cinco, number five, is to manage and improve. Okay, so those are the five vital steps to launching a marketing campaign. Let's take a quick example. Let's say you're implementing a direct mail campaign. Uh, let's say you're implementing a direct mail campaign um, to out-of-state owners. So first and foremost, number one being market research, you'd have, to, you'd have to research your market that you're in to find the data, for example. And your options are a uh, few. You could go out and get your own data. You could go down to the county recorder's office and sift through documentation, or you can make an investment in, in uh, data and uh, purchase it, buy it, okay? So researching your market. Number two is uh, test and measure, right? So in a direct mail campaign, you might split test a campaign to an out-of-state owner. You might try a handwritten letter versus a yellow letter, okay? And you might split test it and try 500 of each letter to see what type of response rate you get, test and measure, okay? So number three, if you remember, do you remember? Create a system, okay? Create a system. Now, why in the world, JD, would you want to create a system for your direct mail campaign? Well, if you decided that you ever wanted to leverage someone else and not do that campaign yourself by creating a system, and that's exactly what our, for example, our mastery students use when they're implementing this campaign within, um, within mastery is they use our system for getting this out. Okay, so create a system every step that you did to implement that campaign. Where is the data located on your server or on your computer? How did you sort the information? Where is the letter located? Where did you get the envelopes? I mean, just everything, right? Uh, create a system for that so that any given time, if you wanted to implement step number four, which is outsource, you could do that. So let's say you bring in an intern. Now you can have your intern implement that campaign. Or you can uh, hire a marketing person in your business, right, if you're at that stage. All right, so outsource. And then the last step is you have to manage and improve the whole thing, right? So if you're going to... If you implement this direct mail campaign to out-of-state owners, then you're going to have to track the information if you split tested it, right? For example, track that information, you're going to manage that process and improve, which could be looking at how many leads came in for each letter and then deciding, okay, well, one letter gave a 10% uh, a response rate, which would be very good with direct mail, and the other letter produced uh, less than 1%. Well, then you may focus more of your energies towards that campaign or that letter that produced uh, the higher response rate and then you've managed it and now you're improving it, okay? So five vital steps to launching a marketing campaign, very important, and I gave you a quick example in each, all right? So our next section is our deal or no deal. Deal or no deal. All right, so in our deal or no deal, let's just say, let's just pick one of the steps and um, number three, create a system and say, should, is that worth our time or not worth our time, right? Is it a deal or not a deal? Can't hear you. Hope all of you right now are saying it's a deal. Because if you don't create a system for what you do or make an investment in a system, following someone else's system, for example, then you're always gonna be a technician in your business. All right, remember that. Last and certainly not least is our quote of the week. Quote of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, quote of the week this week is a good one, a great one. It's one that I've lived by as long as I can remember before I even heard this quote, and I have to give a majority of that credit, credit to my father for, um, and my mother, I should say, for the way I was raised. But here it goes. It takes 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin it. If you think about that, you'll do things differently. 
one of the richest men in the world, according to Forbes magazine last year, the third richest person on this planet, Mr. Warren Buffett. And whether or not you like him or don't like him, um, no one can deny that he is not a successful entrepreneur, investor, and um, certainly is a, a person that has built a quality reputation for himself and his business. Um, and we can learn a lot from someone like him. So let me read that again. It takes 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin it. If you think about that, you'll do things differently. I think, we think at Fortune Builders and CT Homes and Mind Protein that it's reputation's everything. And we care about our reputation, we care about our students' reputation, and we care about doing the, this business the right way and living our lives the right way. All right, so reputation's important. It'll take you very far if you treat it properly, uh, but it can be ruined very quickly. So think about that. You'll do things differently. Remember to comment below the show. Give me your feedback. If you got a thought of the week or a quote of the week, share it. Maybe I'll use it on the next show. Have a great um, weekend, great week. Enjoy the episode. See you next time.